This exercise will only demonstrate how to use the model SIM to display the waveform generated by state card and state bench code for sequence 101 detect detection. A much more interesting usage of the model SIM is to invoke it from the web pack and use a VHDL source, create a new test waveform source, and let model SIM to carry out the simulation. Now let us proceed to the demonstration. Today we're going to use model SIM to simulate the VHDL code and the test bench generated by state card and a state bench for sequence 101. First thing we have to do is create a subdirectory folder inside of a I'll put it in C drive I'll call the folder Z and we will go into where the code generated by state card move it to this folder including the VHDL for the test bench. Now you can see we have the two folder now in inside the Z of directory. Let us now invoke model sim three six version six point two G. Close the pop up window, file change directory to the C drive where we created the Z folder. Click OK. File new library. Make sure the library name and physical name is work. Click OK. Then open up click compile compile and select both file in that is from the C folder. Click on file. Hit done. Then let's view the compiled unit right here under the work folder. Double click test bench to execute. Double click this. Select simulate start simulation. Open up the work folder, highlight the test bench, and then click OK button. Make sure we got the same tab open, and under the object frame, here, here, make sure the name signal appear here. Reset X1, Z, and clock. Uh, select wave from view menu. Click that and the right hand side you will have you will have the web default. Right click the test 
bench, select, add, let's do that, which is actually too much. We don't need them all. We only need the clock reset X1X, the clock Z reset X1 and Z. Let us delete the rest. which is the UUT signal. There are a lot of repetition here. And delete them all. So our main signal now is just the clock reset X1, Z. Next, run the simulation. But let's change them to, let us say, 100 nano second. Click the run button, minimize it. Let's click the run button some more. Okay. Let's see if we have enough. No, we didn't have enough. So click a few more time. Okay. And then minimize some more until we see some progress in the output C, some sort of output showing up. There, we got some now. Okay, now let us examine this. On the positive edge of the clock, initially reset occur here. So the first detected input is zero, one, one. Remember, we're detecting 101. Zero, zero, one, zero, one. So that is the first output. Let's just, then we have, uh, one zero one so we got a high again and then this is zero go back to zero the output let us add some more run to it okay right here let us so here we got a series zero Zero, one, zero, one, that's the output. And then when this input drop to zero, this will drop. So that is the simulation. Make sure that the frame open, this is workspace. This is the object and this is the default, is a wave. Okay, let us stop this.